All right, Ruru TV is back. We're here at the first round of the 2024 Victorian Enduro Series at Falls Creek. It's going to be pretty sick, I think. It's um, a lot different than previous years, but they're going to incorporate a couple of the new trails, which is real sick. This year they're doing the urban stage again on Saturday afternoon, which is now. And uh, we're going to start here. It's not really urban yet, but we're kind of, we get to the end of uh, Big Fella and you come past this sick tank, which they got painted up a few years back. And they come down past this off camber, so it's just a real cool, real cool shot with the tank in the background. And then they just burn down this fire road and then they get into the village. So it's uh, 3.28 now, first ride is at 3.30. As you can tell, I'm feeling pretty crook. I've been crook since the downhill last weekend. Or well, before that, actually, but the downhill just took it out of me, so I literally just got here. That's, yeah, two minutes to go. We're set up just here. Just going to shoot the one camera at this section because we're doing, um, like, rider photos for Force Creek, so basically a picture of every rider and then highlights with all the cool... The cool boys and girls uh, tomorrow and then maybe we can do a picture of every rider again tomorrow. So yeah, a lot of work and uh, a lot of running around. So tomorrow's going to be a mission and I'm feeling like crap. So Ruru TV's back. I didn't get the XC Ruru TV out but we'll probably put that out before this one because it'll be a little easier to do. Back at Falls Creek, back doing Enduro. Let's do it. Yeah, nice line. Right, so we've shot a few categories and uh, we're just going to move down, there's no point staying at the same point the whole time. The only problem is there's not much gap between the categories, there's three minutes between 17 girls and 17 boys, so by the time three minutes gets down to here it's going to be more like two minutes, so I'm going to keep my head on a swivel, make sure I don't miss the top under 17 boys, because they're the ones that roast you the most. But yeah, it's been pretty cruisy so far. Enjoying it. It's always nice to be up here shooting at Falls Creek. We're in this cool section here where there's a bit of a drop shoot kind of section it's pretty sick last year it was like kind of sunny through here but this year it's uh you are the vlog yeah the boys so yeah we've got the two cameras set up again shoot that little nice sunny little bit coming in there and then the remote off this drum we're into the vets now so they're starting to do it which is cool how's the view up there buddy um I put these in sport mode and I climbed up. <laughs> Crocs in sport mode. Yeah. We're down at the famous stair section now. It's been heap, but it made heaps faster this year. And there's rocks here. Look at these rocks. These weren't here last year. This is sick. So yeah, it's going to be a little bit more hectic. Crowds building up down there, which is pretty sick. Alright, elite men are about to start. It's been pretty busy. I've missed a few riders, but that's all good. That's a part of it. We're pretty keen to see if someone can uh, send this new gap here over that little, over that guy. It's going to be interesting to see if anyone does it. Alright, Saturday urban stage done. We're going to head up to Last Oot and get ourselves a pizza and then go home, dump these photos and then watch the Women's uh, Australian Open tennis final. So it should be a good night. Looking forward to tomorrow, it should be quite fun. Lots of cool crew up here and uh, there's not too many riders up here which is good for me. So sorry Falls Creek but yeah, I'm a bit cool to shoot 300 riders. There's about 200 which is really nice. So yeah, we'll get stuck into some editing tonight and get back into it tomorrow. Fun times. Alright, Sunday race day. Yeah. 
should be pretty fun. It's uh, going to be a bit short today, I think, because it's only four stages for everyone. One trail is two stages, so it's pretty much three stages. The Elite's to another stage. So I'm up here on Big Fella, and this is where the start is, way down there. Hello, people. So it's just gone, it's like 8.05, so the E-Mountain Bikers and the Elite's have left. And they're going to ride all the way up here. Pretty much up to the top there to do generator which goes on the other side of the mountain there. So I better hustle and get over there. I'm on the e-bike today which is pretty cool. And uh, look at this place, how sick is it? Alright, we're set up here at the top of generator. And so we've got two cameras set up. We've got the fisheye set up on there on that rock. It's not the greatest photo but it should be pretty cool. Just have something a bit different. And then we've got the long lens down here. Just shooting up at this little rock feature here which is quite a nice little drop. It's a 15 minute gap to the M21s, but they might catch up because they're keen as mustard, those kids, so. <laughs> yeah, duck. <laughs> yeah, Benny. All right, one stage done. We've pedaled out to Skyline now. There's a massive lineup. We've got all the masters out here. We've got a heap of people that we know, which is sick. So I'm glad I caught up to them. B-Rad, 299, all the boys. What a sick place. Look at this. So yeah, we've got the little fish I set up there. Don't know what we're gonna do with this one yet. Got the rig. Oh, geez, this bike is fun. And uh, yeah, we'll just chill up here for a bit now, which is sick. Just sit up here, Skyline. That's actually high voltage, but they're racing the top of high voltage going into Skyline. We're gonna try and get a sneaky shot through those little trees, get a foreground. And then another shot through here. It's a bit near, but it's all right. And then we'll have fish eye set up just on those rocks. The rider will be on those rocks just with all this view in the background. So yeah, nice to kind of get two or three spots done in like one little location. There's a bit of a break now, I don't know what's going on. I think uh, first aid just rode down the, look at me, I'm just all over the shop. Fucking hats everywhere. I'm as white as a fucking ghost. But uh, we're getting it done. And yeah, we've got a, a few of the masters, which was pretty sick before they even dropped into their first stage. So the elites have done two stages already. It's kind of funny how they have elites go off first because they're obviously quicker than everybody else, but I always wondered why they did that. Like, they get the elites go off first, and then they have all the juniors and masters go after. So the masters just get caught up pretty quickly. I don't know, and understand why they don't have all the masters go first, and all the juniors go first, so they can kind of get a clean run, and then the elites could go at like nine o'clock. It's just my two cents, but would make my day easier too, but that too good. Yeah, it's quite nice up here. Mount Bogong in the background there. This is Victoria's highest mountain. Spound Cope here in the foreground. Classic Falls Creek views in winter of that one. That's uh, Mount Nels over there on the back. That's another real high point here. And then yeah, we're out here. This is called Frying Pan Spur out here. That's pretty magic. We're pretty, pretty remote. We're out in the middle of nowhere really. And it looks like there might have been an incident down below, so we might be here for a while. Oh, go on, Ruru. Ruru. Go on. Come on, Patty, give us some love. Go on. Oh. oh. Bit, of, bit of liking to On the tube. Well, describe the situation for us, man. I have no idea. I'm just <laughs> walking back up here to get some lunch. Yeah, and I bumped into all the elite crew, so that's pretty oh, good timing. Damn. Yeah. What do we got here, Patty? I'm just it matches yeah. your hair. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm taking in all of the uh, experiences out of this little wildflower that I can. Taking the YouTube and How's your day going, Hayden? You got your chain on still? The chain is on. Feeling good, We're mate. We're having a good day. Nice. So 
No pressure today, so that's no good. No pressure, yeah, I'm well out the back just cruising. The dad cam back in action. I've done a bit of recording today, it's been good. I didn't know I shot you earlier, I thought you might have been in your nice bright turquoise kit, but... Uh, in the freshy. Going, going dark, I yeah. like it. Thanks. How's your day? Yeah, pretty good. And yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not keen to pedal back up from the bottom of this to go and do Thunderbolt, oh my goodness. Everyone was having shoes on Big Fella as well. Uh, that was Big Fella. I, I got bucked I on that, that jump on the motorway bit. And yeah, I was yeah. like, oh no, this is the end. And I managed to save it. So it's <laughs> Massive fun. high speed buck. Love Whew. it. Yeah, pretty sketchy. Nice. All right, have fun on the next stage if we get to Thanks. it. <laughs> oh, the sneaky elites <laughs> cutting the line. Making their way to the front. Do what you're told. <laughs> How you going, Rach? Good. Yay. BMAC on the undercut coming through. Dad Cam. Shout out Hot Labs. Yeah, boy. <laughs> How you going, Teeks? Good. Having fun. Look at this line. Oh, my God. It's what happens when you have an incident on Skyline and everyone's here waiting to do it. Nice place to hang out though. Went up to the top and apparently there's an incident down below and everyone is at the top of Skyline. Pretty good though, the elites have been pushed through to the front so they've got an extra stage so they get priority. So the first riders we'll see will all be the elites which is pretty sick. And uh, then we'll capture everybody else and then that'll be pretty much rider photos done. And then we'll head over to uh, Thunderbolt to get the elites on their last stage with another sick viewpoint. Shout outs to Tim and Benny at Last Hoot. Got my lunch sorted. All right, it's been about 55 minutes since the last photo has been taken. So the poor little dude, apparently he's done his knee, can't ride, can't walk. And he's done it in the worst place possible, like kind of at the top of Skyline. So evacuating him is going to take a while. So we're an hour wait now. Poor little dear, hope you guys alright, hope he's alright. Got to have a bit of a lunch break, so that was nice. Had some last week pizza, had some chocolate, had some water, put some more sunscreen on. This is what we want on enduro days. Usually we don't get time to do this, but yeah, it's kind of nice just chilling out here up in the in the Alpine and talking shit with some mates and riding bikes. <laughs> Delays are done. We're set up on the final elite stage, stage five, um, Thunderbolt. Classic stage. I've got the fish I set up in that tree to kind of get a bit of that foreground of that tree on this cool corner. Let's see if that works. I can't really go past this spot because it's such good value. I kind of shoot it every year, but. Just got the big dog here, 70 to 200 set up. And you can shoot this beautiful kind of shot of Bogong there as they come down that rock garden. But you can also shoot through these wildflowers. There's a little jump there and then there's a berm here. So the value is just insane on this spot. So you can shoot probably three shots there then the fish I shot on the corner and then maybe two shots there. So you're getting four or five photos just in this one spot. So I know I've shot it to death, but it just is a no brainer. I'm actually also gonna try and use a polarizer on this shot. That's normal. And then if we polarize it, it basically just makes the sky super dark and it gets rid of all the glare off the flowers and stuff like that. So there's no, no, not one bit of glare 
and it gets all the crazy light out of the sky and makes it real dark. The only problem when shooting with these is it's really easy to underexpose, like you kind of lose a lot of your highlights. Um, so you kind of have to really take control of your exposure and not do it on auto because it'll just be too dark and when you use a polarizer it's super hard to edit to bring those highlights out again so you kind of need to really focus on that make sure you overexpose just a little bit um, not too much because then it'll be impossible to get any detail but yeah so they're super hard to use but they are especially up here in the alpine they they make a huge difference to get that nice blue sky pop out your nice kind of yellow flowers they work amazing down at the ocean and on, on lakes and stuff as well because they get rid of all the glare off the water a lot of video guys use them as well like, because they they're kind of like a neutral density filter as well because they've got they take it down about two or three stops so super good for the middle of the day but it also just gets rid of that glare and that that kind of bright white light it's hit and miss so we'll see how we go yeah jordan So we're just waiting on Connor to come down. She's won three stages, second on two other ones, and if she has a good run here, she'll probably win. But she's uh, lagging behind on the climb, so hopefully she come down soon and we can go. Let's go, Connor. <laughs> Let's go, Connor, come on, come on. Let's go, Connor, come on. One more rider to shoot. One more rider to shoot. Let's go, Connor, come on. Come on. Let's go, Connor, come on. Here she comes. Yeah, Connor. All right, another Roo Roo TV done. Big thanks to Falls Creek for getting me up here this weekend. It's always a pleasure to come up and shoot Falls Creek Enduro, it's a, it's a good event. You guys put on a, a good show, good trails, good times, good people always up here as well. And uh, yeah, it's a big day today, it's just gone quarter past two. And we started at 8am so, whew, big day on the tools. And uh, thanks for tuning in, we'll get another Ruru TV going for you soon. I don't know where my next event is, maybe Cannonball. Uh, that's only a couple of weeks away, so probably Cannonball. Thanks for tuning in. Come say hi. Give us a shout out on the trail if you see me. And uh, yeah, good times. See ya.